How to go from something like this to this. What's up guys, it's good to see you guys again. In today's video, we'll be doing a little bit of a room setup to a vibe situation. It's more gonna be focused around the lighting. I spent the past two to three days trying to figure out the lighting for my room. I've spent so many videos making videos in this room and I've never been able to like get the lighting solid. I always just accepted it. But today, in today's video, we're gonna be going through the lighting. I'm gonna explain to you guys what I was thinking while I made this whole lighting setup. But before I take you guys off the tripod, I wanna know how many lights do you think are busy lighting me right now? So you get three different type of lights when it comes to lighting a room. You get your key light, your backlight, and then your light that fills in all the shadows. We'll quickly run through them all, but just to give you a basic idea, your key light is your main light which exposes for your subject, then your backlit light is the light that basically lights up the room that you're in, and then your mid light which is like your filling in the shadows light quite literally just fills in all the shadows and gives lights to the shadows. And boom, that is the lighting setup. We have one, two, three, four lights. I genuinely use my 10 to 18, but the problem with that lens is it's absolutely horrible in low light. I'm using my Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8. This is the lens I'll probably be using all the time when I'm filming in my studio slash bedroom really. Okay, so my number one tip is block out all the natural light coming into your room. I've used literally swimming towels to block out all this light coming in here from the back. And then I've got my normal curtains here at the back. They look much brighter in the video than it actually is, to be honest with you. The main reason why you want to be blocking out all your natural light is so that you have all the control of the lighting in your room, no matter what the weather is outside. Because if it's gloomy, there's not enough light coming in. When it's sunny, then there's too much light coming in. Rather just block out all the natural light and then be able to control all your lighting happening in your room. Our first light, probably the most important light, is your backlight. I'm using an LED strip. It's pretty cool because I'm allowed to, able to change my colors. But basically, the main function of this light, it allows your foreground, me the subject, to be separated from the background. So as you can see with the wall, there's a big difference. If I switch it off over here, it doesn't look, I look like I come from like one of those horror movies, like Paranormal Activity. Um, if you switch it on, a much more friendlier look, as well as it allows the audience, you guys, to see the environment, the room, the setup. Our next light is called a key light. Well, I've got two key lights, one over there, and then another one over there. Basically, there are two super, super cheap lamps. You can probably pick them up for like 400 bucks. Um, and then I went and got Harry Potter, apparently it's Harry Potter gift wrapping paper, but basically it was blue paper. I didn't want to spend money on professional gel, like blue gel. This blue gift wrapping paper acts as a diffuser it diffuses all that warm warm light because these lights actually are super super warm and bright i'm i'm actually so so cheap i stole all my sister's hair bands to keep the gift wrapping paper around the light this is probably not the safest option to do because these lights they like to overheat and when they overheat this paper over here can maybe catch a light not the safest option to do so your next light is the light that fills in all the shadows i guess you can call it it's in between your key light and your back light because basically what it does is it fills in all these shadows here on my face that would have been hidden if i switch off my computer screen you'll see now very yellow very orange not very nicely colored and also parts of me are completely blacked out where you can't see any detail if i switch on that computer screen see all the details on me as well there's no fully blacked out spots um you can see all the shadows as well and then for my tripod i'm literally balancing on top of one of my monitor speakers um does perfectly it's eye it's eye level with me so it makes you guys feel like that you're actually looking me in the eyes as if you're sitting in front of me and watching me. and voila that is the lighting setup i'm gonna switch each light on separately so you guys can see the difference between each light. If we switch on the backlight, you can see immediately the difference between the foreground and the background. You guys are able to see what's going on in the background, but you guys can't see me at all. I've switched on my key lights, which are the lights which expose for me. As you can see, they're very green because of the gift wrapping paper. I don't like that color at all, as well as I'm quite contrasty. Um, my top as well because it's quite a dark colored top you guys can't really see the detail going on, on my top either And now if we switch on the main computer screen I've set the computer screen as a completely white picture that way it brings back the normal skin tones and Basically like counteracts the green bluish tint from the gift wrapping paper I know audio is one of those things that we try to overlook and not pay too much attention to But putting a little bit of effort in can make the world of a difference The main thing that you want to do is get yourself a microphone number one 
good step. I have the cheapest one, it's like a thousand rand. It's the Rode Video Mic Pro, the Mini. And basically it's just like a shotgun on top of my camera. It allows me to vlog as I go and I'm using it right now as well. I've used my curtain up here and because of my speakers, it allows the sound from my voice to be balanced. So there's no like insane echo going on in this video. So I hope this lighting stuff made more sense. I hope you guys were able to learn a thing or two from it. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm hoping to be filming a lot more tutorials with this setup. Let me know what you guys think. I'd be keen to see what you guys think of this video. I hope you guys were able to learn something new. And if you did, let me know. Go check me out on Instagram. That's where I post all my liquor content. Good job, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers.